Hi, welcome back to Nena for Real Bye Bye Christmas Fat Challenge. Today is our second rest day and of course we'll have another yoga session. Yesterday we had a very intense leg workout, so today we'll be doing a lot of stretching poses in addition to our usual breathing exercise. So grab your mat and let's begin. <laughs> Start standing at the top of your mat with your feet together. Begin to grow from your feet to the top of your head with shoulders relaxed and your chest lifted to the front. Place your hands together in the center of the chest with your eyes closed. Take a deep relaxing breath and start drawing your attention to this place and this moment. Release your hands at the sides of the body and continue to breathe in Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose, producing a soft sighing sound. Inhale, raise your hands above your head. Interlock your fingers, turn your palms up and look towards your hands. Exhale and continue to grow as you lean towards your right side. Inhale as you return to the center. Exhale and lean over to the other side. Return to center, inhaling, and now on the exhale, turn your torso to the right side, keeping your hips in front. Inhale in center and exhale, shift to the other side. Inhale, come back to the center and stretch a little higher, looking towards your hands. Exhale, release hands and lean towards your legs, dropping your arms to the ground. Take your elbows with both hands and let your head hang between your arms. You can gently rock sideways. Relax your arms again and make a little walk, bending one knee and then the other alternately, lifting your heels. Keep your left knee bent and leave your right hand on the floor. Rise your left arm towards the sky and look at that hand. If you can't reach the ground, you can help yourself with a yoga block. Exhale, lower your left hand to the floor and switch sides. Try to keep a long spine. Exhale, lowering your arm and slowly begin to rise your torso as you inhale. Raise your arms to the sky with palms together and exhale, bring your hands together in front of your chest. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift with your fingertips under your shins or on the floor. Exhale, forward fold. Step left leg back into a low lunge. Keep your fingertips on the ground or slightly apart. Keep a long spine here, open your chest to the front. Inhale, arms to the sky in a high lunge. Gradually bend your left knee as your spine lengthens upward. Your sitting bones are directed straight to the ground. Once there, begin to straighten your leg again by pointing the heel back without losing that adjustment. Inhale, stretch once more, and as you exhale, bring your hands to the ground. Lower your left knee to the floor and let your hips relax down, always lengthening your spine. Bring your left foot towards the glute and grab it with the opposite hand to deepen this stretch. 
Also rotate your torso, bringing the chest towards the right knee and at the same time pressing the knee against the chest. Look up to the sky. Release the foot, come back to center, raise your hips slightly to bring both hands to your hips, with elbows meeting behind your back. Now relax your hip again towards the floor. Stay there, looking slightly up, or stretch your arms to the sky for a deeper stretch. From there, place your right fingertips to one side on the floor and continue to extend your left arm upwards, leaning a little towards your right side. Keep relaxing your hips down. Inhale, stretch up again, and now exhaling, lean to the other side. Inhaling, come back to center, stretch once more with arms to the sky, and exhale, place your hands at both sides of your foot. Lift your knee, inhale in plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, Urva Mukha, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. Pedal your feet here, bending one knee at a time. Relaxing your heels down and feeling the connection of your palms to the earth. Inhale, lift both heels and exhale, relax them down. Push here, one last time. Inhale, extend your right leg up and exhale, place your foot between your hands. Low lunge. Inhale there, exhale, left foot by your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, grow tall, stretch up. Exhale, samastiti, hands to your heart. Inhale, rise arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, now right foot back. Stay there in a low lunge. Let's do everything on the other side. Suspend the lunge. Stay with your arms pointing down. Inhale, extend your arms up. Start bending your right knee, aligning your back and your seat bones, lengthening your spine. And slowly start stretching that leg again, pointing your heel back. Exhale, place your hands and your knee down. Relax your foot. Now bring your right foot to your glutes and grab it with the opposite hand. Look up, open your chest, deepen the stretch. Gently release your foot. Go slightly up and place your hands on your hips and gently push down to relax your hips again. Stay there, open your chest, or extend your arms up. Exhale, place your left fingertips on the floor and lean to that side. Continue to stretch your right arm up. Look at that hand. Keep relaxing your hips down here. You'll feel a gentle stretch on your psoas. Inhale, back in center. Exhale, right hand on the floor and lean to the other side. Inhale, arms up again. Lift your back knee and exhale, place your hands at both sides of your foot. 
Inhale, go to a plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, shoulders down. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now let's bend both knees. Bring them very close to your chest. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Do it several times. And each time you extend your legs, try to relax your heels well and to feel the extension behind your legs. Inhale, rise your left leg. Exhale, foot between your hands. Inhale, feet together, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, grow tall, extend. Exhale, Samastiti. Again, inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, place your hands and left foot back. Start rocking back and forth. And each time you go back, extend your front leg a little more. Finally, stay there with both legs straight, trying to relax your back heel as close to the floor as you can. Keep your back very straight here and bring your chest close to your knee. Place your hands back to go deeper if you're more flexible. Inhale, move your hands back to the front. Exhale, re-bend your front knee. Move your right foot out to place your hands on the inside of that foot. Open your knee, align it with your toes. Let your keep open a little. And now move your hands to the front of the mat and relax your elbows down if you want to go deeper. That's how I'd like to go deeper without losing extension on my back. You can relax your knee down or stay with your legs straight. Inhale, come back up. Straighten your arms, move your hands by your foot and go to a plank, inhaling, exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, Urva Mukha Lukab, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Inhale, rise your right leg, put your foot between your hands. Inhale there, exhale, feet together. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, grow tall, extend your arms, exhale, samastitihi. Inhale, rise up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half with lift. Exhale, place your hands and right foot back. In a low lunge. Start rocking back and forth. And let's do everything on the other side. Every time you go back and exhale, straighten your front leg a little more. Push your right heel back. Finally, stay there with both legs straight and relax your forehead to your leg. You can walk your hands behind. Hold there, always breathing, releasing the tension in all your muscles. Inhale to the front, walk your hands back and return to a lunge. 
Move your food out. Place your hands on the inside of that food. And let's deepen the stretch. If you notice that your knee is collapsing to the side, turn your foot out to align your toes with your knee. Move your hands to the front. Exhale and little by little, relax your elbows on the ground. Extend your back, look to the front. Inhale, come back up and move your hands back by the side of your foot. Inhale, go to a plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. A couple of breathings here, relaxing your legs and your back. Inhale, look to the front, walk or hop, feet together between your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, forehead to your knees. Inhale, rise up, stretch your whole body. Exhale, samastitihi. One more time, inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hop or walk to Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Look up, shoulders down. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Try to relax here. You can always go to a child's pose if you need to rest. One more breath, go deeper. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, hop or walk to the front. Inhale, extending your back. Exhale, forehead to your knees. Inhale, grow tall, stretch your body. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe deeply. And now prepare to sun salutations B. Inhale, Utkatasana, the chair. Exhale, straighten your legs and fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hop or walk back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right leg to the front. Lower your back heel. Inhale, lengthen your spine, arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, in a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, urva mukha, look up. Exhale, adho mukha, left foot between your hands. Go up, warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, in a plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, look up, Urva Mukha. Exhale, hips to the sky, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, rise your right leg, place your foot between your hands. Lower your back heel, align it with the bottom of your mat. Go up to a warrior two, extending your arms from hand to hand. Open your hips to the white side of the mat. Breathe there. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, reach to the front with your right arm and place your hand down on your chin or your ankle or directly on the floor. You can also use a block to support yourself. Stay there in Trikonasana, feeling the stretch in your hips and behind your right leg. Picture yourself supporting your back in an imaginary wall behind you. Draw your left shoulder back and open your chest. Exhale, look down, 
rebend your right knee and go back to warrior two. Inhale, reach with your right arm. Exhale and place your hand on the inside of your right foot. Parasvakonasana. Again, you can use a block. Inhale, exhale, extend your arm over your head in a diagonal. Look up, don't let your head collapse if this is comfortable for you. Otherwise, keep your gaze down. Exhale, look down. Close your feet and walk your hands to face the white side of the mat. Toes slightly pointing inwards. Inhale, extend your back. Exhale and fold forward, trying to pass your head between your legs. This is a deep stretch for hips and legs. Use your shoulder blades to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, slowly go back halfway and walk your hands to the other side of the mat. Bend your left knee, keep your right foot, keep your right heel down and go up to a warrior two. And let's do everything on the other side. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, reach to the front and bring your hand down. Look up and extend your right arm to the sky. On the next exhale, look down. Inhale and go back up, rebend your left knee, warrior two. Inhale, reach to the front and go down again in Parsvakonasana. Stay there with arm to the sky or bring it over your head in a diagonal. Inhale one more time, exhale and look down. Walk your hands again to the white side of the mat. Close your feet as your legs remain very active, as if they were tweezers. This time, grab your ankles to help yourself go down, bringing the crown of your head towards the floor. You can also reach behind your heels or catch your big toe with middle and index fingers. Again, don't tense your shoulders Use the strength of your arms to go deeper. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, place your hands in front of you and move your feet away from each other. We are going to move on to a side split. Don't lose the activation of your legs completely yet. Keep the soles of your feet placed on the floor. And little by little, bend your elbows and place your forearms on the floor. Now start releasing the muscles of your hips and your adductors and also relax your feet on the floor. Now your arms are very active and supporting your weight. Slowly lift your elbows and press the floor with your hands to go slightly up and sit on your glutes, keeping your legs as wide as you can. Now your toes are pointing up. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, place your right hand under your left thigh and lean towards your right leg, extending your left arm over your head, trying to gradually reach your foot. Move your right shoulder close to the floor as far as you can and open your chest. Look up to the sky under your left arm. Exhale, look down. Inhale and stretch back in center. Lean to the other side. Place your left hand under your right thigh. And now feel the stretch on the right side of the body. As you press the hand with your thigh, try to also bring your hip down maintaining the contact of your sitting bones with the ground.
exhale, look down, inhale, stretch in center. And now walk your hands to the front, extending your arms and trying to keep your toes pointing up. Don't round your back to go further. Keep a long spine so you can feel the stretch in your hips, back and legs. Now just relax and breathe here. You can inhale, go up a little bit and exhaling, go deeper in the stretch. Hello, Tui. What are you doing there? <laughs> and slowly inhale, go up. Gently bend your knees and place the soles of your feet together with your knees relaxed to your sides. Grab your feet and open them like a book. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale and lean towards your feet, maintaining a long spine, drawing your chest towards your feet. Use the strength of your arms again, and you can also press your knees down with your elbows. Inhale, go back up, place the soles of the feet together again, and now round your back to bring your forehead close to your feet. Try to relax your hips here. Let your knees go down with the gravity. Inhale, slowly go back up. Now cross the right leg over the left with the shins parallel to the front edge of the mat. Place one hand on the knee and the other one on the foot to slightly press them down. You can stay there. Lean to the front for a little bit or lower your torso completely, extending your arms to the front. Wow, I really love this stretch. I can feel it in my glutes and my hips and it is just the weight of my body pressing down and slowly release change the cross of the legs and repeat the same on the other side go at your own pace and just stretch any amount without forcing yourself whatever you feel comfortable find that point where you can relax and enjoy the stretch slowly go back up now sit with your legs crossed. To close the session we're going to do a breathing practice. Place your hands on your knees, arms relaxed, close your eyes and follow my voice. This is an abdominal breathing. It consists of taking long breaths. Get ready, exhale, release all the air. Slowly inhale, bring the air to the lower parts of your lungs, expanding your abdomen. Now exhale and contract your abdomen. Let all the air out. Inhale, let your abdomen expand. Exhale and draw your navel in, pressing the stomach. Repeat, inhale, exhale, and abdomen in. Inhale, 
and exhale. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale and release all the air. Inhale. Exhale, abdomen in. A few more times. Inhale deeply and feel your lungs. Exhale and let all the air out. Inhale, expand your stomach. Exhale, and contract your stomach. Inhale, and exhale. This technique promotes a state of relaxation and eliminates anxiety and distress. You can continue breathing here for a few more minutes. Or if you prefer, you can go to Shavasana Corpse Pose. In any case, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you also for subscribing to my channel and for sharing this practice with others. Remember to come back here for day 9 of this challenge. Thank you for letting me be your fitness coach. I'm Nena for real. And I hope to see you soon. Namaste.